Okay, there's no escape here. We're back on side chaining. Another useful little trick is that you can actually use it for controlling reverb and things like that. So we've got reverence here with a long reverb program set up on the, on the guitar. Very long, obviously. You can hear it ringing out there. Now that's pretty unrealistic in normal circumstances, but of course there are no rules when it comes to production. So what I can do here is I've got a compressor after the reverb. And this time, Routing the kick to trigger the side chain of the compressor. Let's bring that threshold down. So what I'm getting now is that reverb is now still there as a wash. But by changing the compression characteristics, it then becomes a kind of an effect really. This is a very extreme example. You can use this much more subtly on vocals. And if you add just that certain little amount of punch, or pump I should say, it means that there'll be a little bit more space in the mix. Or you can use it as an extreme effect like this. You can of course try this on delays as well. Once again, there are no rules in terms of music production.